What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're talking about the Hoyt Carbon RX3 in the Garmin Zero. I have been using the Hoyt Carbon RX3 for this entire season. I've shot two deer now, and I've, I've paired it with the Garmin Zero bow sight. This is a really high-end kit. This is top-of-the-line bow, top-of-the-line sight. This is very, very expensive, so it's not for everyone. But I wanted to talk about it because this sight in particular has been a total game-changer for me. I cannot believe how user-friendly this sight is. Once you get it dialed in and you figure out how to use it, it takes all the guesswork out of ranging an animal, which in my opinion, it's a much more ethical way to hunt. So the traditional way of using a range finder is you get up in the tree, you range different points of reference around your, your hunting site, and then you kind of commit those to memory. So the way I always did it is I would try to measure a, a 20 yard ring around my tree and then just try to remember maybe a stump, maybe a tree that had different colored leaves, so something that really stuck out. And then I'd make that ring, that 20 yard ring, and then I would adjust ba uh, basically from there. You know, if it was a little further than that ring, I would know to use my 30 yard pin or whatever. But there was always still some, some element of guessing in there because the deer never follow the script, right? They always come in fast, they come into a weird location, they come in behind you when you weren't paying attention and all of a sudden they're just there. There's, there could always be that situation where you don't know the range of the animal and you're, and you're making a guess. Now, it was never really a big issue, never really caused problems for me, but with a sight like the Garmin Zero, it takes all of that out of the equation. So I've shot two deer with it this year, and I gotta say, I am totally impressed with this sight. The, once you get it dialed in, all you do, you pick up, you come to full draw, you tap the little button that lives on your riser, it gives you an, it instantly, I mean like, as fast as you can press the button, it gives you a yardage, and it also gives you the appropriate pin. So now it doesn't matter if the deer is at seven yards or 47 yards, it's gonna give me a pin that I've practiced with and I know exactly where to aim on that animal. So I don't have to guess. There's no Kentucky windage going on. I'm not guessing at the elevation. I'm putting that pin exactly where I want the arrow to impact and I'm squeezing the release. And I gotta say, this thing is awesome. I shot a deer in Missouri, that video is coming out soon. But without this sight, I don't know how, how it would have turned out because it happened so fast that deer came, the doe came running through and the buck came behind her. Mur, 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 mur. He was all rutted up. I had to yell at him to stop. He stopped, he was looking straight at me. If he had taken two more steps to the right, he was out of my life forever. He was gone. So I pulled up, I had, to this day, I have no idea what the range was. I think it was somewhere around the mid 20s, 20 to 25 yards, something like that. But with this sight, the deer stopped, he looked at me, I instantly come to full draw, I press the button, it gives me a pin, I put the pin on his throat and I shot him. He was, he was staring right at me. Um, the, the arrow went right through the heart, or right through the chest, right through the trachea and exited the heart. So the deer died in about 15 seconds. It was over just like that. If I did not have the Garmin Zero, what I would have done in that situation is I would have put my 20 yard pin on him and I probably would have centered my 20 yard pin on him at right where I wanted to hit. Now I might've been a little high or a little low because I don't really know the yardage, but with this site, it took all the guesswork right out of it. I just put the green dot exactly where I wanted to hit and that's where the arrow was going when I hit the, when I squeezed the trigger and sent that arrow downrange. It was absolutely great. That brings me to the carbon bow, the Hoyt carbon bow. I have never had a high-end bow like this, the kind of the top of the line flagship bows from any of the major manufacturers. I've shot Hoyt in the past, but it was always kind of their mid-range offerings. I was blown away, I still am. Oh, see you later, Parker. Man, this thing shoots like a dream. I'm shooting it at uh, 70 pounds and I have a short draw length because I have Smurf arms. Uh, so I only have a 26 inch draw length, but or 27 inch draw length rather, but this Hoyt is plenty fast. It has plenty, I get plenty of penetration. I'm able to shoot fixed blades, which I like. It's just a great bow. I have nothing but good things to say about this Hoyt bow. And when you couple it with the Garmin Zero, I am super, super impressed with this kit. I think I'm gonna be shooting this for a, quite a while. So really impressed with the Hoyt bow and the Garmin sight. Um, I know they're expensive, it's not for everyone, 
but if you can, if, if you have a hunting budget or you know, you're willing to, to pony up and, and pay for these type of expensive things, this one particularly will change the way you hunt. I'm a big, big fan. Uh, and the Hoyt Carbon Bow is no slouch either. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this is informative and uh, you guys learned a little bit of something. Check out some of my hunting and fishing content and you guys get outdoors.